starting our camp walkthrough. We are in the Emerald lot. This is where all the RVs are camped. How has your camp experience been so far? <laughs> My camp experience has been, I'd say an eight out of a 10. I don't like that the service is spotty as hell and that the RV next to me started blasting their fucking music at 8 a.m. Yeah. So we have a ride in camp. It's a little chill zone. How's your camp experience been so far? 9.4 out of 10. <laughs> Henry is staying with 10 people in the smallest RV I've ever seen in my life. Definitely a fire code violation. A fire code violation. You can see all sorts of different types of RVs. Pods or the mesa? Yeah, so I'm in the prime location because look, it's just a straight shot down. We haven't had to turn or anything. We're about to go through the pods, so these pods are spread out all over the place, and I I'm having a decent time in an RV. I can't even fathom being in one of these pods. Ain't no fucking way. So if you have the group, if you haven't, even if you don't have the group, my friend Carmen and her boyfriend came just them two last year in a big SRV. So get an RV, I'm telling you. There's no, it's so hot right now. And you can see these people are doing like little makeshift covers. I, that's why I brought like Good for them though, but ain't no way. Can you imagine, Henry? They're, they're trucking through. Yes. Oh, a little cornhole set. So, good morning, Camp EDC. 28th Street. So, here's the cool thing about um, it's probably easier in ours, but like the RV lots have numbers and then everything's labeled like this. So, you could tell your friend, I'm on 28th and H Avenue lot 166 and it's super easy to find some more little chill zones to wipe my nose it is 9 a.m yes sir it doesn't stop it really doesn't stop and then um camp is near a military base so the jets are firing off Get the vibes. It's hot though. I'm walking around with an umbrella. I don't know. I feel pretty good though with this protection. My neck is crying like bacon. <laughs> Did you put sunscreen on it? No. I lathered up before I came out. The number one benefit of being the perk of RVing and camping is filling your bag with a dozen white claws and coming back to <laughs> Yeah, so that's a perk. Um, if you're staying out here and close enough, like you can just bring your own alcohol into camp. So that's what we did. So there are that, they have little signs telling you where to go, where there's showers and all of that. But I don't use these, I have a better one near me. All right, so now we're about to go into Camp EDC. It is called the Mesa. Oh shit, that's the actual EDC entrance all the way down there. No, look, you see it? Well, yeah. Okay, but we're gonna go into here. Camp EDC, the Mesa. So this is where um, a lot of different things are. All the food shops and merch and just shopping in general. So let's go, let's we'll start right here. This is, we'll go this way. We didn't go this way at all yesterday. All right. So this was a little stage last night. We were here. And then we're gonna go look at the little food options. At least there's sun protection. You ate chicken tendies and french fries last night? Were they good? 
Or well, the, the fries were kind of okay. But you like the chicken? So look at all this. So plenty of, ooh, breakfast pita. Nice. Um, so they do have a lot of breakfast options. Look at all these people sitting out here, getting their food on. I'm just eating as much as I possibly can in the RV. Oops, so I ate a chili dog this morning. <laughs> Did you eat yet? Are you hungry? Pizza for breakfast, fuck yeah. Okay, so we didn't come over here at all yesterday. What is this line? Camp EDC. Look at this long ass line. What is it? It's a cereal bar. But there's a shit ton of people. Let's cut through right here. It's a cereal bar. Here's, this is where they have some activities. So they send out an activity schedule. I'm not doing any of that. <laughs> I can't, I'm, it's too hot. I'm not doing anything. Like as soon as I finish this walkthrough, I'm going back to the RV. Okay, um, so that's another entrance. I guess this is just like a little chill zone. They may have other activities this way. I mean, in this tent. Yo, that cereal line is mad deep. When you're in the shade, it's not that bad, but it is very, very hot. They're just, everybody's just sitting out here watching cartoons. <laughs> How cute. Okay. Cute. Okay, continuing on with the tour. I haven't looked at the merch. There's a merch tent right there. So we got more food options. A little bit, mac and cheese, bao buns, Henry. Loaded nacho, do you wanna go look? Okay. Nachos. I ate a chili dog this morning. I was hungry. All right, let's keep walking then. Let's finish the tour. So it looks like all the shops are directly in the center, other than merch. I don't know, I haven't taken a, a peek.
pre-filtered water, RV services. Okay, so a little information booth. We love that. Charging the Ferris wheel. We tried to go on it last night, but it was closed. Okay. So this is the main stage area where they play, um, where the music's at. This is where we were like four hours ago. This is where we were four hours ago, twerk. exactly. Twerk, twerk, twerk. Um, more, is that more food? More food. The pools are over here. Oh my God, we got pool parties today. There's pool parties today. Shit. <laughs> so that's where the pools are. All right, so that's, so this is Camp EDC, ladies and gentlemen. There's two different pools over here. All right. Let's go look at this little Camp EDC sign. Hi. <laughs> Okay. All right. I'm sweating. So it's just like ankle deep water. Oh no, it's not a pool. But they still have blood parts. Yeah. Safety first. Alright. The showers that I've been using, so these are the showers. They do have hot and cold. Um, right now there's a line. When I was done last night around three, I was able to just walk into one. So obviously in daytime there's probably gonna be a line, people waking up and going. And then there are porta potties here, but in here there are legit toilets. So this is where we go to the bathroom, and this is where I've been able to pick up service. Also free water. So, and this is just a short walk from the RV. But it's nice to have flushable toilets, toilet paper, water, be able to fully wash your hands, soap, and all that. It's because those porta potties are foul.